Next, we want to calculate the group velocity, group velocity dispersion, loss, other parameters that I introduced in my slides before. So let's select the frequency analysis. In the frequency analysis, let's start, let select the start frequency for, from 1.55 to stop wavelengths like 1.6. We have 10 uh, number of points and we want to just calculate these parameters for uh, track selected mode, just for mode one. So I can run the frequency sweep. So actually, uh, when we run the frequency sweep, so for each point, we have 10 points. So for each point, the solver calculate the mode and calculate the effective index on other parameters of the waveguide. And uh, then in this picture, as you see, we have a effective index versus wavelengths. So if I go to the frequency plot, so I can uh, see the effective index versus wavelengths, the group index, Group velocity, dispersion. So let's go back to this slide. For the waveguide mode parameters, properties, so we have effective index. This is a definition, modal dispersion. So phase velocity, group velocity, group index, and group velocity dispersion. So as you see here, the refractive index, why we have a dispersion versus wavelength, because the refractive index, if you see the effective index, to the effective index changes with, with uh, wavelengths. So it means that each wavelength has a different effective index. And if I see the groove velocity, each wavelength experience a different group velocity. For this reason, we have a dispersion. So the the parameter, the dispersion unit uh, is picosecond nanometer kilometer. So 